Hi everyone, this is Michael from UC Berkeley's IUR 190G. Uh, this is part four of the series uh, for the patent uh, US 7009626. This week I'll be talking uh, uh, about, a s similar to what I did last week, I will be talking about why this patent does not infringe upon, I mean, why this pro product does not infringe upon this patent as opposed to what I did last week. So as a refresher, this patent is called uh, System and Methods for Generating Visual Representation of Graphical Data and da Graphical Data and Digital Document Processing. Uh, so yeah, uh, there's a lot that goes on with the patent. If you want to learn more about it, visit my pre previous videos where I talk about it in more details. Uh, but basically, uh, to review it in summer, it's, uh, it's the method of of uh, displaying graphical data by uh, first drawing up a low res image and then displaying a higher resolution image. So that's the basic idea. The, infr the infringing product in question for this topic discussion is the ma iOS Maps. And I will tell you why uh, it does not infringe upon the claims. For the fence, the iOS Maps, uh, they could say that they don't uh, fall, fall upon all the claims, uh, fall upon all the elements of the claims in the me they mentioned in the patent. For example, the, uh, the patent mentions that you store a low resolution image, re uh, re replace the display of the low resolution image, and then store a final updated image and uh, display that final image. Well, for the iOS maps, if you take a look at it carefully, they actually do it in uh, multiple portions. They f instead of doing it in a two-part two-part uh, thing uh, for replacing it, they do it in three. First, they display a basic grid, a gray grid that doesn't have any graphical data, uh, uh, significant graphical data. It's just a generic gray grid, which is later repla replaced by the low re resolution image and then the higher resolution image. Or sometimes they'll mix and match. Sometimes they'll represent, uh, replace it with uh, just apps, uh, with a with the gray, gray, uh, gray graph, and then re replacing that with the final updated, or mixing it up with using the two step or the three step, but always mm -hmm. using the gray. So if if you look at it that way, then they do not follow the claims exactly in that they don't first store uh, reduced resolution bitmap is just a generic bitmap that isn't a representation of the graphical data the user wishes to extract. So that's uh, uh, we're using if you if you view it from the, the, these terms, then the iOS maps clearly don't infringe upon the patent. But is that enough? Uh, it's something the lawyers will have to look into, and we'll only find out with time. Well, thanks for watching this guy. There's obviously more points, but keep the video short. Thanks for watching. Roar! Angry Kitty! Like a lion.